The group mapping feature for Azure Single Sign-On streamlines the synchronization of group memberships from Azure AD to groups in Netbox Cloud, allowing you to align your user access efficiently and accurately. Changes in Azure AD groups are reflected in Netbox Cloud, ensuring up-to-date access management and enhanced security. You can tailor the group mapping to your organizational needs while maintaining strict security and compliance standards. To demonstrate this, we'll create a new group and assign it some permissions in Netbox Cloud. So we're logged in as the main admin user. And if I navigate to admin and permissions, I can click to add a new permission. We'll call this circuit manager and give it a description of manage circuits and providers. We'll tick all the actions to allow view, add, change, and delete. Then for the object types, we will select all the circuit types and then click create. Next, we can navigate to groups and click to add a new group, which we will call circuit manager, and then add the circuit manager permissions we just created and then click create. Okay, next we will switch over to the Azure AD management portal. So here is Susan's user account. And as you can see, she's not currently a member of any groups. So I'll go ahead and click on add memberships and tick the existing Netbox circuit manager group and then click select. And you can see the group membership was successfully added. And I can see that if I click refresh. The other important thing to note here is the object ID for the group. This object ID is used to map the AD group to the group in Netbox Cloud. So you'll need to provide this to the Netbox Lab support team so that they can set up the mapping for you. Now, the amazing support team at Netbox Labs has already done the group mapping for the Netbox Cloud instance so that this AD group is mapped to the circuit manager group and also to the is staff permission. And we'll see this in action in a second. So back in the Netbox Cloud instance, I will log out of the admin account and I can now click on Microsoft Azure AD and then enter Susan's credentials. Okay, so Susan is logged in, but as you can see from the padlocks in all the widgets, she has very limited access. You can see that she does have access, however, to the object types in the circuits widget and also has the circuits menu on the left-hand side. So we can click on providers, the KPN provider, and then the circuit that we have from this provider. So that's great. And if I log out and then back in as the admin user and then click on admin and users, we can see that Susan's account in Netbox has been created. You can see that she has staff status. She doesn't have any directly assigned permissions, but she is a member of the circuit manager group, which has the required permissions. So lastly, we will log out as admin and then switch back to the Azure portal. To further demonstrate the synchronization of groups, we'll remove Susan from the Netbox circuit manager group and then switch back to Netbox Cloud one last time and click on Microsoft Azure AD, which will log Susan back in. So as you can see, Susan has lost the circuits menu and permissions to all the object types in the circuits widget. So if you're already securing access to Netbox Cloud using Azure AD for SSO and would like to use the group mapping feature, it's easy to get set up. Simply create your groups and permissions in Netbox Cloud, then set up your groups in Azure AD and reach out to the support team at Netbox Labs and we will take care of the group mappings for you to suit your requirements.